politics. All right, now that 50% of you are gone, I can actually start the video. I've done a really good job at trying not to reference the certain pandemic that's been going on as little as possible because I believe my channel to be escapism from other problems. And if we can have one channel on this platform that you don't have to worry about the broad, complicated topic of most issues in the world covered ad nauseum, it's gonna be this one. So I was inspired by a Twitter thread that taught me a lot about a season 12 episode of Spongebob that won't be coming to the United States anytime soon. It's called Quarantine Crab, which sounds like that one meme of the Microsoft error page. According to the wiki, this episode is about how, quote, the Krusty Krab goes under emergency quarantine, but no one knows who carries the mysterious illness. With this, you can probably tell why this was shelved. Obviously, it's the Krusty Krab that is ill. That's why it went under quarantine. Duh, like what a dumb mystery. A few staff members were able to comment generally holding the consensus that they'd be surprised if the show comes out in America anytime soon. That is because the episode did come out in a few other countries, specifically Canada, France, and Israel? So with that, I should say, don't get used to seeing moving pictures within this. Even though I've watched Quarantine Crab, so you don't have to, I don't wanna show moving pictures of this show because YouTube doesn't want me to. This thing has been scrubbed clean off the internet, at least on the United States side, and you'd be hard pressed to find a copy, let alone a good one. This is available in Canada on Apple TV, and I presume that that's an English copy. I've had even one of my own members of my team try to get it because one of them lives in Canada, and even he had trouble with Apple's DRM, which is unfortunate. It took hours and hours of searching and getting absolutely baited every step of the way, until I found the golden copy on Vidly. Good job, Vidly. You finally got a point on YouTube. Let me just uh, tally that up real quick. However, it's a rather low quality version and it's not in English, nor do the translations really match up. In fact, at one point within this translation, Pearl is supposed to come across as complaining about being quarantined and the translation drops a very inappropriate word. However, putting aside the pandemic, what's this episode about? Is it good? Short answer, watch the entire video. Long answer, the episode follows exactly what the premise says. They get quarantined because of a mysterious illness that just so happens to be within the Krusty Krab. Why? Because Andy Yellowtail comes in with a magical device that detects oyster flu in the air. Oh wait, you guys probably don't know who Andy Yellowtail is. Uh, the guy from Nasty Patty. Do you know the health inspector? Yeah, I figured it's probably best to call him that from this point on. I suppose it's a rather simple premise that he comes in, says that there's an illness in the air, specifically within this restaurant, and it closes down. It's weird not to see this episode any other way given this year, and I don't want to talk about the practicality of how this all goes down because you know there's going to be some mouth breather out there who will draw parallels with my way of thinking a kid's cartoon character should handle a fictional quarantine of a fictional disease that fictional other characters have and actual politics. As you can see, this episode will revolve around Spongebob, Mr. Krabs, Squidward, but also include Mrs. Puff, Pearl, and Plankton. What a little asterisk, as tiny as he is. Plankton was in this episode towards the beginning, but gets absolutely vaporized. I guess it's bittersweet that the episode didn't delegate him to insert steel formula and that's just it, but at the same time, I can't help but feel that his inclusion within this episode was just to be the person who shows what would happen if you tried to escape, and that's a little bit unnecessary. If you're gonna show that, why not a random fish? Why waste a potential dynamic or team that we haven't seen before? You have Plankton, Mrs. Puff, and Pearl, not exactly a trio you'll find if you pick episodes blindly on a dartboard. Paranoia ensues, with everyone thinking that they're infected or at least at risk before anyone ever stops to rationally think. Because main character, both Spongebob and Patrick are designated as the roles to describe what quarantine is. They describe it as a place that we're all invited to and start dancing happily. Ooh. Once they regroup and calm down, they realize that this is a serious situation. Mr. Krabs brings up one of his Navy stories, and he would describe that when doing something like this, what they would do there is to throw the infected person within a closed area, in this case a freezer, and then going back to whatever they were doing, celebrating, doing Navy stuff, and if someone else showed any symptoms similar, they would go where the other person went in that closed area, in this case a freezer. I keep bringing up a freezer because they never took out 
the people in the freezer in Krabs' story, and Krabs may have killed somebody and have blood on his hands, as frozen as it is. So, of course, with such a straightforward plan, it all goes to shambles once SpongeBob sneezes. Never mind the pepper shaker went into his nose, blah blah blah. It's all very straightforward from here, they'll stick to the structure of if someone shows even the tiniest symptom, and it'll get sillier as the episode goes on, they'll throw them in the freezer. And this time, it's not SpongeBob dying in a freezer, it's SpongeBob having an impromptu skiing adventure. I mean, it's the same freezer that when Squidward was in it, he kind of froze himself into the future. Well, as you can see here, this would encourage Patrick to tag along once he sees ice cream and all the good time that SpongeBob is having. You can probably see where this is going. Squidward, Mrs. Puff, even Pearl gets thrown into the freezer, fueled by paranoia. The idea of this is solid, and I think they did a good job as much as I'm poking at the individual parts. So of course, it turns out that none of them were sick, and they conclude that since none of them within the freezer are sick, that means that Mr. Krabs has to be sick. Process of elimination, a very solid decision-making choice. Chaos ensues, and we get towards the end where it looks like a creepypasta that professional animators cleaned up so that it can air on TV. Like, you can redo this last scene here and just, you know, dirty it up and make it a weird sort of variation. And you got that hyper-realistic band episode that Nickelodeon accidentally airs at 3 a.m. that haunts you in your dreams and makes your eyes bleed. On the surface, it's a very weird episode, but functional and structurally correct, and it pokes fun at the idea of quarantine. I've seen that done in Teen Titans Go, I've seen it done in Penguins of Madagascar. It's something that would have been as inoffensive to talk about as the idea of two towers being on the New York City skyline. But life isn't static, so now you can't really bring that up. But is that right? Oh, by the way, I am not talking about the towers. Now I'm talking about the quarantine. I, I should have written that better. I spent a lot of time thinking about this episode and wondering if it was the right decision to not only not air it anytime soon, but also keep it off the upcoming DVD of the same season. I think I have a pretty deep understanding of both sides, so let's kind of go over that before I give my personal take. On one hand, the elephant in the room is that this episode appears to be taking a very serious problem and making it out to be entertainment. With the example I gave before, you probably could make a legitimately funny episode that involves a plane crashing and have it never reference a certain event. But that said event is so ingrained in our general lives and was such a significant event in history that it's commonly accepted to just leave that and anything tangential to that alone, as it's bound to make a good percentage of people offended given the emotional weight that is tied to it. A lot of people have been negatively affected by the issue that it may not even be referencing. Likewise to this, even though it's painfully clear that the episode doesn't intend to make fun of or make light of the situation, the situation now has emotional weight tied to it based on the people who lost their jobs, got sick, passed away, or any other negative thing that's happened because of the pandemic. It's in that sense that you probably wouldn't want your kid watching this and thinking that the whole thing is a big joke when it's something that's legitimately ruining families. It's a good business decision to not rock the boat when it comes to the pandemic given that there's probably a lot of families that would get offended by this, even if it never mentions the pandemic. Also, even if this did air and there were backlash and people lost their jobs because of this, I or anyone else involved in the decision to air this regardless of the potential perceived cultural insensitivity wouldn't want people to lose their salary just to air another episode of SpongeBob SquarePants, literally one of the longest currently running animated shows. So with that, I can see and respect the decision that Nickelodeon would prefer the safe route of just not airing it, not risking anybody getting offended with them, not risking any jobs, and more importantly, not risking the integrity of SpongeBob, unless you count the third movie. But on the other hand, isn't this subconsciously teaching people that nuance doesn't exist, it's irrelevant, context doesn't matter, if the situation itself can make people offended? This was written before the pandemic was a widespread issue, so given that plus the fact that the the episode handles this topic with the tact and grace to come across like a regular Spongebob episode, anyone who gets offended by this, in my opinion, would be throwing away the nuance of the situation. Far be it from me to invalidate someone's opinion of the situation if they were close to someone who passed or lost their job or any other way that their life was massively changed for the worst, but if your argument comes down to, this references X, so we can't have it now, I just don't agree with that. You can be worried, upset, moved in some way that X, or in this case the pandemic exists, and affects our lives, and can also be self-aware that this is just a kid's show. You're telling me that I'm to trust Nick Loading with the idea of tackling the elections, issues within the black community,
community and LGBT problems, but they can't air this episode because this is too spicy, even though when you watch it, you'd be hard pressed to find something that the episode did that was actually offensive? To me, that would be a bold step because you would be enforcing that there is nuance and that SpongeBob is here to entertain and not provide political commentary. I understand both sides clearly, and it's just hard to say what I would go with personally. However, again, I'm not mad at the idea of shelving it, it's just seeing it never coming out, not even on DVD, it just feels like there should be a way to release it without people getting upset. SpongeBob has had a large history of not airing something that it did before, cutting something out, or just not putting something on DVD. In fact, this would be the second time that an episode was excluded from the DVD, the first one being Help Wanted, the very first episode that aired from the complete first season DVD, so we're talking about like an over 20 year difference. There was also that one time in Just One Bite, I talked about this very early on my channel where there was a deleted scene, you could probably find it on YouTube. And there was also that Shanghai contest that I talked about in another video, where there is a live version that you'll never see again. Before I end this off, I want to talk about that one time in which Spongebob did an episode about a sickness that was going around and infecting people to the point where Spongebob had to be personally separated from the rest of the crew. No, I'm not talking about Quarantine Crab, but rather Fungus Among Us, another episode that deals with the same topic, and even goes into more graphic detail arguably. But because the episode aired about 13 years ago and doesn't have the word quarantine all over it, I guess it's perfectly okay. If this episode does come out in the US, I'll be sure to give it a proper review or maybe even a proper versus with Fungus Among Us because I definitely feel like if one is still allowed to air, why would you want to air the more graphic one? Why take just the word quarantine itself and treat it as if it's Voldemort? It's honestly very unfortunate. I understand the double standard, but that doesn't mean that I like it. Anyway, let me know if you think this episode should air given all the factors and thank you so much for being patient with me. Thank you so much for your time and until then, take care. Alpha out.